game could have gone either way. We started sloppy both uh, from the start of the game and the start of the second half. You know, first half, you could sense something. You know, it was quiet. It was you know just thinking you had to turn up and. Uh, It'll happen, and them sort of games you've got to make it happen. But you tell them, you know, we've got a good side, and they, they work hard. Um, and we did match them for the first five ten minutes, and they deservedly went in front. Um, but in the end, a lot of positives because I thought we played some good football today. Uh, Craig Regan up front scored your equaliser, and he certainly added something to the attack with his layoffs and so. That's what, well, we haven't scored for four games, I think, and uh, more is going. Um, we worked on a lot of things on Tuesday about getting balls in the box and I think you know we, we got a lot more into the box today, we've created more chances today. The last three games I don't think we've created uh, anything but one that once it goes into Reedy you can see it's a finish. What a great goal it was, so I'm delighted for him and as the game grew on, you know, he, he was you can see he was an experienced player. And uh, and uh, your other debutant, the youngster Courtney Wilden at left back, he got man of the match. Did very well, you know, great left foot, um, great delivery, great decision making. Um, you know, and he's also got a long throw as well, you know, so that might come into the armour a bit. But um, you know, as a full bat, and as when I used to play full bat, he's got the right attributes to be a good full bat, and uh, I was very pleased with him today. He did very well. They're the positives, and I suppose the negatives, the fans on the way home will be thinking, well, if it weren't for your goalkeeper who made two world-class saves, uh, you'd have lost. Um, and they're keeping us some world-class saves as well, and a couple of players are not finishing, so if it was a game of two, you know, two teams are really going for it, and, you know, they're probably walking away and saying, what a good game that It was a lot more exciting than last week, that's for sure. Well, exactly, so, you know, we've had a lot of chances, and... We could be walking away, I did not one of them go in, you know, they're the same, so probably on reflection a draw is a fair result, but, you know, they, I'm sure a lot of people go in and think that was a good game, you know, we, we gave it a lot more than what we did last week, um, just because it's a bottom, bottom of the table team, you don't give them right that you're going to win the game. Um, We've got to go out there and deserve the right to win the game. And in spells we did. Yes, they had chances, but so did they, and it, it could have gone either way. And Simon Russell could have won into the end. Yeah, a, a world class save from their keeper. You know, um, it was a, a great save, but like I said, we should have won. Uh, should have scored from that position. Um, but that wasn't the only one. So it, it sounds like you're making out that they had a lot more chances than us. No, no, I think it's pretty, pretty even. Yes. I think it was an exciting game. Both sides yeah, had chances. Uh, they were the only one that had a man sent off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it was. It was a very exciting game. Just because, like, the it, their bottom of the table doesn't mean that it's not going to be. You know, we come and we win four or five nil. Teams don't do that. They've gone to Stockport last week and won a game of football, which is a tough place to go. They've come here full of confidence, and uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. All I'm, all I'm just fighting about was just the finishing. Um, but we've created more chances in today's game than we have for the last three or four. We got it wide, we worked on a lot of things in training, it paid off. The only thing that really didn't pay off was it didn't go in the back of the net for us.